This is EY Stream. He just realized YouTube is broken. Please stop him from going crazy by hitting subscribe and the bell icon before today's video. Please guys, I need views. In three, two, one. Here we go guys, walking inside the cloud. Ready and check it out guys. We are actually inside the cloud. I don't know about you guys, but that is awesome. Check it out. Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can live in the clouds. See, look at that. Look at those clouds up there. I'm going to be showing you how you can live in those clouds today, guys. In Minecraft with no mods or add-ons, guys. You know, I don't need your mods. I don't need your add-ons. We're going to be doing this 100% vanilla Minecraft. So if you guys are excited, make sure to go ahead and drop a like down below, guys. We're going to try and reach... Ooh, here's a hard one. 2,000 likes on today's video, guys. I think you guys can do it. And if you don't want to leave a like for me, leave a like for this sheep here. Listen to him. Bap. That, that's him saying leave a like, guys. We're going to try and reach 2,000 likes on today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to slap that subscribe button. And hit the little bell icon, please, guys. Like, really, really please. Please, pretty please, with the cherry on top. Hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button because otherwise, YouTube might unsubscribe you. And that would... That would be pretty bad, so make sure to hit that bell icon, guys. And let's go ahead and get started with today's video. And you guys may notice my brand new mic. I'm pretty proud of it. I really, really love it. It's kind of close to my face. Hello, Mike. Hello. Hello. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Let me know whether you guys can tell the difference in the comments below. But anyway, guys, we're going to be showing... I, well, I'm going to be showing you how you guys can live in the clouds. Now, step number one, have a way to get to the clouds. So I've actually built this ginormous, like... Absolutely massive stairway to the clouds here, guys. Now, we could have just built, like, a big pole and a ladder all the way to the clouds, but I feel like that is a little boring. In fact, it is very, very boring. So here we go, guys. Here is our... I'm, I'm going to call it the Stairway to Heaven. I think that's a cool name, and I built it out of quartz. You guys can build your staircase however you want, or you can even build a ladder. It is totally fine, and I've got this awesome beacon coming out from the ground, going up into the sky, and that's going to allow us to get into the cloud and start living inside of it, which I think is pretty lit. In fact, it is floating. No, that's never going to be a thing. Saying something is floating is never going to be a thing. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys, for ruining you guys with my horrible words. But anyway, guys, here we go. Up the staircase, we are going to go ahead and enter the cloud and live inside of it, guys. You can even build your house inside of one. So ready, guys? Here we go. We're nearing the top, guys. Ready? In three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Walking inside the cloud. Ready? And check it out, guys. We are actually inside the cloud. I don't know about you guys, but that is awesome. Check it out. We got beds, and you can look look at the bottom right. Look at the floor. You're actually inside the cloud, and it feels so weird because it looks... Look at this, guys. It looks as if you're walking on nothing. How absolutely crazy is that, guys? What? And you can look down, and you can actually see absolutely everything underneath us and you can also look out into the distance through this massive cloud it is really 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 awesome guys as you can see here we go this is our little cloud house we've got some enchanting tables some anvils some sea lanterns to keep you know keep things bright at night we also have some crafting tables and furnaces and two white beds of course for the cloud theme and here we go we have the doors and these really cool looking floating pressure plates and basically, when we walk out the doors, it'll we will actually land up where the beacon is. So it'll be as if we've fallen out of the cloud and landed on the ground. It's pretty, pretty awesome, guys. And uh, yeah, it, oh my gosh, guys. This, if this is not the coolest base you have ever seen, I don't even know what is. Because this is pretty awesome. And I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can build this kind of house inside a cloud. And what's great is because you're so high up, no zombies, no mobs, no nothing is going to disturb your beautiful cloud base. And unlikely your friends are going to be able, your friends are going to freak out when they get up here because they're not going to know how to get out. But anyway, guys, simple as this, go ahead and walk out the doors and bang, check it out, guys. We are back on the ground underneath our massive stairway to heaven, stairway to the clouds. It is pretty cool. It is pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, no mods or atoms at all. And uh, I gotta say, that cloud house looked lit. It was really, really cool. But you know what, guys? Now I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and make one of these things for your very self. And, yeah, it's pretty awesome. The way this is done is really, really incredible. And you guys are going to love this. But anyway, guys, so this entire system utilizes commands. 
basically, what happens is, is, well, the cloud isn't really at the staircase at the moment, so it doesn't look as cool. But when the cloud does pass by the staircase, when you walk into the beacon, check this out, guys, it's actually teleporting you to another area, which I've built in the sky using a special kind of block, which allows for this effect with the cloud going through. It is really, really, really cool. And now that the cloud's passing across here, guys, just for a minute, you guys will see that the special block is actually white stained glass, which... Have a look at this, guys. When the cloud is passing through it, it actually looks as if you're living inside of the cloud. And I gotta say, it, it's a really, really cool effect. And what's great is when this cloud comes passing again, we'll get that amazing effect once again. So as you can see here, guys, what's actually going on is we have this uh, kind of building, I guess you could say, made out of white stained glass. So as you see, we've got the barriers here, all made out of white stained glass and the floor as well, which gave us that awesome cloud effect you guys saw Earlier. It's really cool and even when it, the cloud isn't there it still looks as if you're living in the cloud because of the white kind of stained glass It looks as if you can still see through the ground and it's a white so it gives you that cloud effect anyway So even though you won't always get the really really awesome cloud effect when the clouds are passing through You will still get something that looks like a cloud as if you are living in one And what's really great is I think using white bags and the white shulker boxes really adds to that cloud effect But you can really decorate your cloud house however you want and of course if you just want to jump out normally you can jump out just like this and once again guys when you walk out the doors you can see they're actually activating these command blocks which is teleporting us back to the bottom of our staircase to heaven guys making it look as if when you walk out the doors you're falling back to where we once were i think it is a really really cool effect and uh yeah it's really really awesome so now i'm going to show you oh look at that guys once again the cloud is coming through and you guys just admire how absolutely awesome this this is oh my this is such a cool effect and your friends will be like oh my gosh that looks awesome and i have to say it really does i am really proud of this creation that i've uh, concocted here i think it is awesome but now i'm going to show you what's going on inside the command block so let's go ahead and start off with our first command blocks at our staircase right right here so here we go guys we've got this massive staircase going up just like this and right behind here if we go ahead and destroy this block is a command block now we can't get too close to this command block because it's a constantly repeating command block that the minute you get close to it it'll teleport you to our cloud house so if we go ahead and open this up here you can see it's got slash tp at p uh brackets r equals three and brackets and then we've got coordinates here and those are the coordinates of our cloud base now to get those guys we're gonna go ahead and jump over real quick to our cloud base and what you want to do is whoop here we go you want to use this command you want to go slash game rule oop there we go uh slash game rule all right, game rule, that's super important. Go ahead and do show coordinates and true. Now, as you can see in my top left-hand corner now, we have my coordinates. Now you can see they are slightly blocked off by my face cam, but you'll be able to do that. The other way you guys can go ahead and get your coordinates is go slash TP. Oh, I gotta go ahead slash TP at P and then go ahead and do space squiggly line, space squiggly line, space squiggly line or tilde, however you wanna say it. Hit enter. And if you go ahead and enter your chats here, oh, we gotta go ahead and do slash game rule. Well, we've got to turn on for this to work, guys, for this, you know, alternate way to get your coordinates. You need to do slash game rule and you need to do send command feedback and put that on true. Then go ahead and do slash TP at P. So let's go ahead slash TP at P. Do those squiggly lines again. Hit enter. And as you can see, guys, in the chat, it says here, teleported EY stream to 268-132-644. You guys can ignore the decimals. You just need the whole numbers at the start. And those are your coordinates. And you're going to go ahead and use those to input into our, into our command block. So I recommend, guys, writing down your coordinates on, like, a piece of paper or on, a, on a, like, another device. So I've written down on my computer over here, and I'll be able to type them in. So once I go ahead, jump back, guys. Okay, right, here we go. Let's go ahead, and you're going to need, obviously, the command block. So if you guys don't know how to get a command block, it is super simple. Just go ahead and do slash give. Oh, we got... I keep accidentally doing a space afterwards. Slash give, and you're going to go at P, space, and then do command, underscore, block, hit enter, and voila, guys, we have a command block. Now, I am going to chuck this one just a little bit lower, guys, so you can see how to do this. So, you want to chuck that here, guys. You want to go ahead, switch it over to repeat. You want to go always active, guys, and then you want to go ahead and do this command. Slash TP, at P, you want to do brackets, R equals three, oop, not four, three, Definitely three. Hit the end bracket, then space, and type in the coordinates of your cloud base. So 
You can build your cloud base wherever you like. I've actually built mine in that direction. So if we fly over here, I've actually built my cloud base over there. But you guys can build the cloud base wherever you want. Just make sure you get the coordinates of it. And then go ahead and type in the coordinates of your really, really cool cloud base made out of white stained glass. So in my case, I believe that was 270132 space 6. Uh, for three. Now, obviously, your coordinates will be different depending on your world. You can go ahead and leave your command block. As you can see, when we walk towards the command block, and hopefully, yeah, there we go, guys. Poof! We are in our very own floating, um, our floating cloud base. Now, if you guys do want to know how to get up here so easily and build a base up here, obviously, you could just go ahead and build a tower from the ground and then destroy it. But another way you guys can do this is do slash set block, just like that. Go ahead, do space, go tilde, space tilde, space tilde, and then just go ahead and put stone. And as you can see, that's going to place a block midair, and you guys can go ahead, grab the white stained glass from your inventory, and build around it just like that. You can get rid of the stone, and that's a lot. It's a, Personally, I think it's a lot easier way to build the cloud base, but um, yeah, once you have got that block up here, you can build the cloud base however you want, however big you want, and it'll look really, really awesome. Now, to get back, guys, it uses a very similar system. We have two pressure plates here to open the iron doors, and behind here, we have two repeating command blocks. So basically, guys, if we go ahead and destroy these command blocks real quick, you want to go ahead and chuck both of these down. Now, personally, you actually only need one, but I like to have both because it looks, you know, symmetrical. And my OCD, guys, my OCD. You go, go ahead and switch this over to repeat. This one doesn't need anything, so just put that on repeat. And this one over here, you want to put repeat. Always active. And for this command, guys, once again, it's really, really easy. You want to do slash TP at P space. Now, this one, just a little different. Go R equals 1. Oh, actually, we're going to go R equals 2 and brackets. And then you want to put the coordinates of wherever you want to teleport you back to. Now, that might be the ground below. Or in my case, I put it at the ground below the massive staircase I built earlier today, which you guys saw. And you can go ahead. And I've written down those coordinates. For me, that was 160. 69129. In fact, if you wanted to troll some of your friends, you can even put the coordinates to a completely random place and they would be so confused. But it is totally up to you guys once again. Really, really cool. So now, guys, once we go ahead and walk into here, we walk into the command blocks. As you can see, that's teleported us right back to the bottom of our stairway to heaven. It is really, really cool and really, really great. In fact, if you wanted to, what you could do is put this command block right at the base here where the beacon is and make it look as if when you walk into the beacon, it's going ahead and teleporting you into the sky. If you don't have, like, if you don't have enough resources to build like this massive staircase, you go ahead and you can put the command block right underneath, just like this. You can put it underneath our, um, you can put it right underneath our beacon, just like that, guys. And you would be able to go ahead and basically it would look like every time you walk into the beacon, it goes ahead, teleports you into the sky and into the clouds, guys, and into your cloud base. That is another really cool way you could do it. Or you could build it out of ladders. It is totally up to you guys. But with your sky base, you're going to have to use white stained glass for the walls and the floor. Let's go ahead and just teleport over here real quick. And voila, guys. Personally, I think, yeah, white stained glass is the best because even when there aren't clouds passing through it, it still looks like it is a cloud. And hopefully, <laughs> these clouds will get over here very, very soon. And honestly, I think all around, this is a really, really great way to build a base. And it's really unique, especially when the cloud passes through it. It looks absolutely awesome. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, guys, and subscribe to my channel, guys. That'd be absolutely awesome. I would love you for it. Make sure that, well, actually, yeah, that brings us to the end of today's video. Until next time, guys, EY Stream out.